In this example, we're going to set up a view where we can add spaces and create a view template of that particular view, so we can use it later. We'll then add spaces to a variety of areas and rename them to match the linked architectural model. First thing I'm going to do is create the duplicate of this particular view. Once that's created, I'll rename it. And then I'll need to change the sub-discipline of this particular view so that it goes into the MEP section. And you can see this move in the project browser. Now you'll notice that no spaces are actually showing at this point in time. So let's use the visibility graphics and turn on the interior space. Now we can see the spaces showing. Now I'm going to actually create a view template from this. This allows us then to use this view template for future views or future space plans. So now we have a few spaces that are missing so let's start with the gymnasium. So under analyze go to the spaces. First thing I'm going to do is change the upper limit. The upper limit of our gymnasium runs over two floors and we'll have an offset of zero. There's my space created but you'll notice that the name doesn't actually represent that of the gymnasium. So let's in the properties change it to exactly the same as what's in the architectural model. Once we pick apply you'll see it on the tag. So we have a few more spaces that need to be created. So back to analyze, into space. Now rather than me doing these individually I'm going to use the place spaces automatically and as you can see it's created 10 spaces for me. Again the names need changing but rather than me changing these auto, um, one at a time I'm going to use the space naming option. So we can do all floors, in this case I'm just going to do the one floor. Now I'm just going to move this tag for the corridor down because I'm actually going to separate the kitchen storage into two. So we use the Analyze Space Separator and we're going to separate the kitchen storage into two. All we need to do now is add the new space. And again in the properties what we need to do is change that name. We can't use the naming tool. So we have to actually type the new name for this and we'll keep the actual number exactly the same. So that was creating spaces in Revit MEP.